Yeah, uh, the other day I was in a um, spirited debate with a um, Eurocentrist who made a comment about the uh, internet and the white man and how great the white man was and how the white man is responsible for everything. The white man is behind everything and nothing would exist were it not for the white man and anything that's ever been done was done by a white man and people regardless of um, where it might be, whether it's in uh, Africa or whether it is in Europe or whether it is in uh, North America or any place else, if they did anything of any significance, they were white, even if they were black. I actually have uh, heard white people say that uh, the Egyptians were white people with black skin. Uh, <laughs> go figure. Um, so it, I made this video. I'm making this video in response to this comment about the uh, this white man about the uh, Internet being a white thing. So I want to introduce you to a man by the name of Dr. Mark Dean. Mark Dean is an IBM fellow and he's the vice president at the IBM Almaden Research Center in San Jose, California, where I used to live. At his lab, he oversees more than 400 scientists and engineers doing exploratory and applied research in various hardware, software, and service area, including nanotechnology, material science, storage system, data management, web technologies, workplace practices, and user interface. He is an engineer by training and he has more than 25 years in of experience in the IT industry, all of it with IBM, where he has been central to design of wide range of IBM computers. Dr. Mark Dean uh, played a leading role in the development of the personal computer, which has spearheaded the technological revolution in education industry and every facet of modern life. Dr. Mark Dean, obviously, is a Negro. He was a member of an IBM research team to develop a more effective desktop computer, which ultimately became known as the IBM PC. Dr. Dean and his colleague, Dennis Miller, created the interior architecture allowing the computer to share information with peripheral devices such as disk drives, printers, and scanners. Now, although this development helped place the power of the personal computer at the disposal of every business and home, Dr. Dean did not stop there. Instead, he moved on to develop the PC-80. I don't know if any of you remember that, but uh, that goes back to quite some time if you've been around like I have. The PC-80, AT stands for Advanced Technology, which defined the industry standard architecture for most personal computers used today. He went on to develop that himself. Dr. Dean is also responsible for leading the team that developed the first 1 gigahertz microprocessor chip at his Austin Research Lab. Dr. Dean holds three of the original patents on which the PC, the personal computer, is based, and he has a total of more than 30 patents pending. In 1995, he was named an IBM Fellow. He became the first African American to achieve this honor. Which is, held by, which is held by only 50 employees of the current workforce of 200,000. In 1997, Dr. Dean, along with his co-inventor, Dennis Miller, was in inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame, where he joined two other eminent black members, George Washington Carver and Dr. Percy Julian. Most inventors do not make it to the Hall of Fame. During his 20-year career, he has held a number of engineering positions in the field of computer science, hardware architecture, and design. And he is currently Vice President of Systems in IBM Research and is responsible for developing next-generation hardware and systems technologies, systems covering pervasive to supercomputer computing environments. Now, of course, although uh, this is all historical fact, most of you have never heard of uh, Dr. Mark Dean. That's par for the course. We all know about Stephen Jobs. We know about Bill Gates. We know about Michael Dell, people who made a lot of money with the personal computer. But yet, most people know nothing about the man who made a major contribution to developing them.